What is the CanTab self-ordered search test? Well, that's a long name to start off with. Okay, the best way to describe this test to you is to illustrate it to you. Okay, you have a participant and he's sitting in a chair much like what I'm doing right now. In front of this participant is a computer screen. Believe it or not, there is a computer screen right behind my camera. Okay. Yeah, the camera that you're seeing me on right now, right behind it is a computer screen. It's my computer screen. Okay. Now, when it comes to the participant, what appears on that computer screen is three boxes like this. Okay. Now, one of them has a blue dot inside, what they call a blue token. All right. But you don't see that. What you see is three boxes and inside of them is like an orange color or a green color or, or a purple color. It doesn't matter what color it is. They just put color inside each one of these boxes so you don't see what's underneath them. Two of them will have nothing. The other one will have a blue token. And what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to touch on each one of these boxes until you find the one that has the blue dot in it. Now once you find this one that has the blue dot in it, the blue dot will not appear in that same box again. You say, what, what, what are you talking about? Once you find that token, you move your finger towards the right hand side of the screen and you touch it, indicating that you found the token. And then the boxes are covered up again in orange or green or whatever the heck you want to call it. And that token is moved to a different box. It could be moved to this one, it could be moved to that one. You don't know. And then once again, you start touching boxes until you find the blue dot. Now, the test is to see if you'll touch this box again, even though you know that the dot will not be in that box anymore. Okay? Because the whole idea is you're to touch only the boxes that you know the dot is not in. Now, for three boxes, that's not too hard. But they give you another test where there are five boxes. And then another one where there are eight or nine boxes. Then it becomes a little harder to remember which ones of which boxes that you've already touched that had the blue dot in it. See what I mean? Because remember, what the participant is supposed to do is to remember which boxes actually did have the blue dot in it so he doesn't touch them ever again. And when you've got nine boxes, and you're trying to remember which ones you've touched that actually did have a blue dot in it at a previous time, yeah, that gets to be real tough. So that's why they call it the CanTab self-ordered search test. Okay? And you can get real good at it if you practice long enough. Okay? So, now you know what the CanTab self-ordered search test is. I will tell you more in a future video. Stay tuned.